Right? So. Screenshot! <laughs> you guys know about that. We only need the two of us together. to Walmart um, we went there right because we needed some things I need a hair dye uh, the dog needed dry food I told you guys this morning what what we all needed and then Arlo we just got some like light cream and stuff like that can we always pick light cream up and like heavy whipping cream every single time we go there it's just a it's just what we do staples it's a staple right because we, we literally use it every day for whatever reason um, then we got another thing of uh, half and half because we've been putting that along with the fair life in our pudding. We've been on a pudding kick. But yesterday I made the cheesecake sugar-free jello pudding. Now we, I don't mind it in like Greek yogurt, right? It's not bad because I don't use much. But as a pudding, it's not my fucking favorite. Nope. I don't think it's good at all, to be honest with you. I'm glad we had a little bit of chocolate left over that kind of masked the flavor of it because if I just had to eat that, I probably wouldn't have eaten it. Um, so we bought more chocolate sugar-free jello pudding. Um, and then I found a pistachio sugar-free one. I got a vanilla one too. So we just got like, cause we want to set ourselves up for success. Not disaster. And this asshole's in the middle of the road. Um, you know what I mean? Like, we, we want to make sure that we're set up for just, we, we want to do good. Um, and there's something else that I needed from there that I got. I don't remember. We looked in the Christmas area and um, I got those like window clings. They were 98 cents. I got three of those. I usually don't buy those anymore because I forget about them or. You know, I just, I don't know. I just forget about them. But I seen them and I got them. And two of them have red trucks, of course. If, if you don't know, I like red trucks. If you're new around here, which I'm sure you're not. So you know I like red trucks. So I'm gonna put those on the door. I would have to put them on the outside of the door because we have this like film on our screen door that you can't look in our house. So I'll put them on the outside, which is fine. And uh, this weekend, I'm going to be putting Christmas up. We bought these tiny little trees to put on our little entertainment center. They were like $1.29. And they're cute. And the glitter was all over the register. <laughs> but anyway, so I'll show you what uh, we got from Walmart. Just like I said, a couple of things. We didn't go cuckoo. But I think Arlo got something for the air conditioning. A cover? Is it a cover? Yes, just a cover. She got a cover. Yeah. All right, so we're home. Uh, Dana really didn't want to show you anything. Now, I will <laughs> after we eat, I promise. Um, she had to put away like a bunch of, did you put anything away? I did, I put all the frozen stuff. There you go. Yeah, I She put away the frozen that. stuff. Um, she also had to do some rearranging in the fridge. Uh, always. You know how that goes, uh, right? So I go back to work this um, this weekend, and did you already have some some cold brew? Did I have some? Yes. No, not yet. Okay, so um, I take cold brew to work, and ooh, we actually have like three quarters of a gallon, right? So screenshot. <laughs> You guys know about that. You guys totally know about that. Oh, can you hand me my my mug, my my cup? It's on the door. Oh. Yeah. I wanted to save. The one that says your name. I wanted to save it because it had ice. It still has ice. Anyway, made it a long time ago. Well, just put my name on it a long time ago. It's not like anybody's gonna take it because who else has the name Arlo? Anyway, um, I fill up my mug for work. Pretty full. 
And I think, does it ever say? I think it's 32. No. More? It's maybe not it's 40. 20, maybe 24. Maybe. I don't know. I thought it was a 32. Because my black one is 32. Don't you have the same? My mm -hmm. marble one is mm -hmm. a 32. It's okay. the same size. Concept. Yes, it is. It it's is. Different, different She's look. over there, of course. Anyway, whatever it is, I fill it up pretty full. And then I make, I, um, not make, I put ice in it at work. So because I drink so much, I have to make more. <laughs> yes. Yes. So Dana is going to prepare lunch. Yes. And then I'm going to show you guys what we got from the store and our lunch. There you go. Give it, give it, give it. And give I'm it. going to, what? And then I'm going to make some cold brew. This is a very... This is a. I was I was planning on showing that. Oh, you were gonna show them, or it just sounded like you were ending it. Okay, so, so she bitches that I'm not on here enough. Why? Well, so know. now I'm on here, and now she wants me to shut up. No, I don't want you to. What is all over my face? What does she want from me? Where's that? Where's Nova Ray? Start of my life, right? Nova Ray. Uh, let's get to it. Okay, I got it. I got it. So for every cup of grinds, I need four cups. Of water you're supposed to use filtered water but we're not that bougie okay. so if I <laughs> if I decide to do four cups of grinds this is where my line will be and if I do decide to do five this is where my line will be instead of having to measure all the time this is my system and I I no longer do the cups because can you imagine trying to fit a cup into this so if I do five right i know that it's going to be like 10.65 ounces of grinds don't ask me how i know because that's that's just how it is one making this because i don't know that's about just it. how it is and we drink a lot so if you don't drink a lot you're gonna have to figure that shit out by yourself that's your own match Alright, so I put the lid on and then it's going into a nice room temperature dark place for 20 hours. I read that in whatever website or blog post that I had seen. So 20 hours we will see you. Or you will see it. Or whenever we decide to, you know. I'm taking it out, you won't see Arlo. There you go. Alright, this is our dark room temperature place. Okay. Oh, there it is. Motion censored light. Right there. Bye. So I'm, I have to cover it because it is a cookbook, but this is from the Dairy Free, um, what the fuck is it from? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Dairy Free Keto Cookbook by Kendra Holly. Um, this is her Caesar salad. Uh, we love this. The, this is the best Caesar salad I've ever had. And yes, it has anchovies in it. At first I was skeeved out by it because I've never had anchovies. Actually, I've had anchovies one time and I didn't like them. But you don't taste the anchovy in the actual dressing. So all the ingredients are in there. I doubled it up. I have to put six fillets of anchovies. I'm going to blend it up. And then we have a salad. All right, there's the Caesar salad. Looking delish. All right, I'll show you what we got from Walmart and Aldi. I'm not going to tell you what what's from what place. If you're an Aldi shopper, you should know. Um, so... These are all sugar-free puddings. This is the vanilla. We got three chocolates, pistachio, white chocolate. 
some cream cheese. Those are for the kids. Pretty much Samantha. Goat milk. Goat milk. Goat's milk for the dog. Dogs. Both dogs. Baking powder. Um, this is for Sam's tree upstairs in her room. The, uh, this packet of electrolytes so that we can take them with us. Sometimes when we're out, we don't have any. Um, Starbursts, like water enhancers. Those are mine. These are for my entertainment center. They're adorable. They were like a dollar something. This is for Nova. Cute little pink stocking. Coconut milk. Vanilla extract. Of course, a red truck. Tablecloth. And then some window clings. We got that one. Of course, red truck. Hello. Oh, and another red truck. Mm -hmm. Pig's ears for the dog. Uh, both dogs. Cornstarch. Turkey pepperoni for me. This is the crispy bread from Aldi. We love this. Love, love, love. We put everything on it, like smoked salmon with cream cheese and cucumber. Sometimes I just make like um, smushed, like I smash up some avocado, put some seasonings in it, put it on there for like an avocado toast feel. Um, feta, feta crumbles, I got two of those. The beef uh, sausages are Arlo's, the turkey ones are mine. They have the best uh, salami, Aldi, so yep. Cilantro also from Aldi. And then we got this from Walmart to cover our air conditioner outside. Some unsweetened chocolate baking bars. Two of those. Lily's salted caramel. And then the milk chocolate chips. This is for the piggies. And then this is just some holiday, holiday peppermint brownie mix. And then I got uh, a nightgown, Christmas nightgown. And then also just some Christmas very thin and soft pajama pants with a uh, red truck, of course. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's all I got. And I got hair dye. So that's all. Okay, so this is what I'm doing it is 541. And I have eight pork chops in here. They're not huge, but they're like just a decent size. And I'm going to season them with sasson. This is the one with the achote. They said they're going to be orange. A little bit of adobo, garlic powder. I don't know, that was onion powder and garlic powder. So I'm going to do that right now. And then I'm just going to put a little olive oil in there and let them just sit in some seasonings while I make all of the sides. My olive oil person has not filled up the jug back there, so I have to use this big one. I've already told Arlo I don't like doing this or toilet paper. paper. So that's going to be waiting for her when she gets up. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Has not been filled. Anyway, I'm going to put a bunch of garlic powder. And then onion powder. Hopefully you can see that. Onion powder. A bunch. Because like I said, there are eight pork chops in there. <sighs> Since I'm not putting actual like salt salt, I'm using the adobo and then the sasson. So you can't use salt too. It's just, it'll be too salty. So I don't like to use too much of either of these, so I might put a glove on too because I don't want my freaking hands orange. Then I'm going to use two packets of sasson. Put that back up there. I'm going to put one down and then mix it around and then put the other so it gets evenly distributed. Ribbed. 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 That was the glove, not me. All right, I'm just gonna mix it up. Boom, 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 bitty, boom. All of the goods. We're gonna add more layers of flavor. Like, I like to keep the flavors. Like, I don't like to over-season, but I have to make sure the food tastes good, obviously. But, like, I see people sometimes, they put the weirdest shit on their food. Like, oregano and, like, I don't know. Oregano and, like, the Kinder's blends. 
Like, I just feel like that is just overkill. Like, you're killing the food. What are you eating? Because I don't even think you know. By the time you actually eat it, it's going to taste like just seasonings instead of what you're trying to eat. So, anyway, there's that. Let me get my sesame, I mean, my adobo, a dirty hand. Try not to touch anything. Whoop. Shit's going everywhere. And then we're going to open up. Just leave it like that. And we're gonna go like that. We go like this, and we're gonna go like that, and like this, and like that. And we're gonna mix up. And that's the guinea pigs. If you hear them in the background, I don't know what the hell's going on over there. It sounds like Gretchen's being picked on again by Sonia. The usual day to day here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, and then these are just gonna go into like a pan, and no oil or nothing because there's already oil in there. I'm just going to cook them until they're golden brown, and that's it. Here's the spread. Brussels, a dead avocado. It's like barely a half. This is balsamic mayo that I'm going to put over here so I could dip my sprouts in. Uh, pork chops. For It's pretty much for the weekend, too. I just had to make them all. Um, but I like to put all of them on the table so that we can pick which ones we want. So we'll have two of those. This is the cucumber salad. Arlo has the risotto, and I have a really blue fucking drink. And that's just sugar-free Starburst blue something in salsa order. All right, so Dana just asked me to grab you guys, and uh, because she just wanted to close out the vlog. Food was delicious. I just made some sugar-free chocolate pudding. She wants me to do it, yet she's speaking. I know, I know, I know, but. <laughs> She, the food was delicious. I just made some chocolate sugar-free pudding. It's in the fridge setting up. I'm watching hockey. Arlo's watching the Devils. And I'm watching TikTok. Because that's what I do. I gotta give the piggies their hay in a few minutes. And I'm saying good night. Good morning. I'm just making coffee. I put some cinnamon. Hello cinnamon in the grounds and now I am just going to put that in my cup yep that back okay now I'm just gonna put some light cream in it that's pretty much it have to clean the guinea pigs cages today because it's gross let me show you how gross they are hi Melvin oh yes Melvin Melvin your cage is gross hi hi honey <laughs> hi honey oh you got cute little legs <laughs> anyway, so I have to do that. What do you want? Do you want attention? You want attention? I can give it to you, Raymond. No one wants attention, do. Hey, honey. Hello. Hi. Let's see who else we can show. We have Diego. And Otis is in the back. Here they are. Hello. And hi, Serena. Hi, Serena. Hello. Hi, honey. Hello. And who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, we have Sonia and Gretchen up there. And I do not know. What are you looking at, lady? Who are you looking at? Anyway, and then we have Arthur's in there. Oh, here. Here's a close-up of little Otis. Hi, Odie. Hi, Otis. You gotta clean your cages. It smells like a fucking barn. Okay, I am, you don't have to turn it on. I'm going on a W-A-L-K. I have to spell it because somebody's, somebody's right below me. And uh, I'm just gonna... Go on a 
I'm gonna try to do two miles, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway.